people point out there are 120.5 guns per 100 people in the United States. Why isn't it the safest country on earth? I believe because the school systems are destroyed in this country now and the behavior habits in this country has changed radically in my lifetime. Okay, but the, the number of guns doesn't have to do with the, the incidence of gun violence. I don't believe so at all. I don't, I don't believe it. It just happens to be that the country with the most guns has the most gun violence. Yeah, the minorities and non-minorities, in this country at least, are not being educated properly, and they're being left on their own devices, single-family homes, and the kids are left on their own, and they're exposed to too many elements that my generation was not exposed to. What kind to. of elements? Rap music. The black guys I hung around with, black people I hung around with, it was rhythm and blues and jazz. This is racism in itself. If you listen to this gentleman talk about the black guys he hung around with, the minorities and non-minorities, what he's truly saying is he didn't hang around with black people in his generation. They just hung black guys in his generation. So the issue is rap music, not the 400 million guns. No, no, it, you know, you keep getting back to 400 million guns. So this idea that rap music elements that these these guys are exposed to are the problem of America. What he's truly saying is the expression because rap music is in itself a protest music. The expression of people that did not have a voice in his generation now is ruining America. This is the root of MAGA, be clear. Make America Great Again is synonymous with making America a place where only white people, specifically white men had a voice, definitely where they can air their grievances. It's in everything he said, minorities, non-minorities. He said non-minorities because he realized what he had just said. The truth of the matter is he has only one problem. It's with black people and black culture, as he articulated. What does MAGA mean to you then? So make America great again, what does that mean to you? The America I grew up with, we want it back. We want people to stop censoring us. We want them to stay away from our Second Amendment. We want freedom of, uh, freedom of religion. So if you're a conservative, if you're a Christian, if you're white, you're male, it doesn't matter what color you are. We want people to be respected for who they are. We don't need to have stones of infinity stones because you're black, you're gay, you're trans. We just want everybody to be treated equal. And they're trying to say that we're the, the party of the racist party when they're the ones actually want Jim Crow rules back. In what way? Well, way, um, colleges. They want to have black and white graduations. They want to separate us. Where do they, where do they want that? Uh, what colleges? Man, look, okay, I don't know, Google it. Make America great again. What does that mean to you? What's the again? To me, the again means that we have somewhere safe where we can have those freedoms that we are so lucky to enjoy. There are so many people throughout the world that do not have what we have, and it is a blessing. That's why we have people that want to be here, and we will fully encompass all of that greatness again. When did we last have it, if it's again? I feel like we did have that when, when President Trump was in office. Um, I feel like we can work with what he built on in the first um, presidency and make it even better. When he was running in 2016, it was before he'd even been president, but he was still saying, make it great again. Again from when? Um, that is a good question. I would say if I could guess it would be, um, and I think that they're very politically um, lined up would be maybe with JFK. We all know that in their days, rhythm and blues and jazz was also devil music to these people. Has nothing to do with music and everything to do with the fact that white men feel like they're losing their country, a country that they stole from brown people and built on the backs of black people for free labor. Yet and still, we are not allowed to have an opinion that is critical of them or their systems that they benefit and benefited and still benefit from. That's what he's saying.
And he will never see guns as a problem because it doesn't matter that more white men die from guns every year than anybody else in this country. It does matter that black men can challenge whiteness in this country. And this, this, this idea that rap music is at the end of our culture, at the bottom of our culture, that it is base, is devoid of facts because no one has a problem with Clint Eastwood shooting and killing people in movies. No one has a problem with Bruce Willis blowing up buildings in movies. No one has a problem with anything that happens in Hollywood, but everything that happens in rap music. No one had a problem when rock and roll was sex, drug, and rock and roll. But there's a problem with rap music. This is racism at its best. And then if you go on to the second video, where this gentleman is talking about guns are not the problem and education is the problem. Schools are failing students. No, schools aren't failing students. Adults are failing schools. When they blame teachers for everything that's wrong with American society and are not willing to accept the fact that America has a gun problem, a gun problem. And guns kill people, regardless if they want to believe it or not. If you take the gun out of the situation, there'll be a lot more Americans alive today. And that is not because of rap music, just like it's not because of Clint Eastwood and Bruce Willis movies. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't be stupid. It's contagious.